Hello dear students, this is me Abdul Basit. Welcome to my YouTube channel Al Basit Academy. Today I am come up with a new topic and it is simple past tense. Dear students, what is tense? Tense word taken from the Latin word tempus and tempus mean time. Tense word we use in two different grammatical structure. Tense we can use as a noun as well and as a verb as well. When we use tense as a verb, it shows sadness or sad. For example, I am tense today. My friend is tense. But if we use a tense as a noun, so it shows a time. So now we have uh, to start our topic and it is simple past tense. Definition of simple past tense is uh, the simple past is used to indicate an action completed in the past. It often occurs with adverbs or adverb phrases of past tense. What does it mean? It means past tense shows an action they happen in the past at a specific time. For example, Tima said yesterday, I received his letter a week ago. She left school last year. Yesterday, a week ago, last year. These are a duo phrases. And in simple past tense, we use second form of the verb. I will tell you in later on what are the verb forms. Second one is sometimes this tense is used without an adverb of time. In such cases, the time may be either light or indicated by the context. For example, I learned friend friends. I didn't sleep well. Akbar defeated most of Gan remains in India. Then we have a simple past is also used for past habits. We use simple past tense is for past habits and also we use for stories. For example, he studied many hours every day. This is a past habit. She always carried an umbrella. Got it? Now we have a, we use the second form of verb in past tense. If a verb ends in E, just add D. For example, receive. Receive ends with E. So we will add D. So it will become a received. So it received is the second form of verb. What is verb? Verb is a word which shows an action or a state of being. Then we have forms of verb. In simple words, we have first form, second form, and third form, and fourth form. But in, in grammatical terms, we call them pa present form, past form, past participle form, and present participle form. Past participle form means third form of the verb. And present participle mean verb ing form. Otherwise, add ed, for example, call, plus ed, call. The verb they take d or ed are called regular verbs. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay, call plus ed, so it will become a call. Call is first form. Call is second and called is third form as well. Fix, fixed. Wash, washed. Receive, received. Graduate, graduated. Then we have uh, some verbs uh, don't tag D or ED. These verbs are called irregular verbs. For example, go. Second form is a went. Past form is went. Buy, bought. Bring, brought. Eat, ate. 
meet met i think it's quite easy then we have a structures positive negative interrogative answer to question what is a positive structure subject plus verb second form plus rest of the sentences for example i fixed her car last month last month is adverb phrase fix is the second form or the past form of fix and this is the past simple past tense example my brother graduated last week he saw me last night i bought a gift for him you keep in your mind in in positive sentences we gonna use same second form of the word then we have a negative structure in negative structure we add what we add did not did not you you keep in your mind that in simple past tense in negative structure you will use uh, did not in verb first form in positive we use um, second form of the verb but in negative we have have a helping verb did so when we use a did not so after the verb first form imran didn't buy a car it's mean not bought imran didn't buy a car we didn't eat with ali then we have a question you keep in your mind that we if we have one helping verb two helping verb or three helping verb of the subject we will deal with first helping verb which use of the subject we will place it before subject and we will place a question mark in the end of the sentence so it will become a question uh, sentence for example did she meet the teacher did umar go to school yesterday a question mark then we have a answer to question we have a positive answer and negative answer with positive answer we will use um, yes comma pronoun plus did and negative answer we will use no comma pronoun plus did not example did she meet the teacher she is pronoun then we have uh, the answer yes she did have it if it is negative so it will be like a uh, no she didn't then we have second example did umar go to school yesterday this is a negative answer no he didn't if if it is a, a positive so it will become a yes he did okay thank you very much for your listening and if you have any kind of questions so far related to this topic please comment me i'll give you the answer thank you very much